welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today we will be learning how to make Flappy Bird on Scratch. Um, now this will be a series, I'm probably going to split this tutorial into two parts. But uh, today we will be learning how to, um, co we will be coding the bird and the pipe movements, alright? So, let's get started. So I've opened up a new project called Flappy Bird Tutorial, and I already have a bird here. His name is Fabi, if you didn't know that. Um, if you're wondering where I got the art, um, here's an entire sprite sheet of it. Um, I'll post the link in the description so you can um, click on it and download it. Um, it's um, a very safe website, so you don't need to worry about that. Great, so let's get started. We're going to create a new variable for our bird. Um, I'm going to call it Y Velocity for the sprite only. Now, uh, this is going to help us, uh, you know, make the bird jump smoothly, alright? So, we're going to do one clicked go to x0, y0, and we're going to say forever, change our y velocity by negative 1, and change our y by y velocity. So you can see now we kind of have gravity, right? The bird is uh, moving downwards um, faster and faster, right? So we're also going to say if, let's say uh, mouse down, which means if you're clicking, then we are going to set our y velocity to let's say nine, so then we would be we would be jumping when we click on uh, the screen, right? So look, if I click now, we kind of jump. Yay! <laughs> um, if you want to add other controls, you can just do if mouse down or let's say key space pressed, then set our y velocity to nine. Um, you'll also notice that you can actually kind of hold um, the space bar or click and it just kind of goes up for a really long time, right? So we're going to put this in a separate loop. Let's say when green flag clicked forever, if mouse down or key space, key space pressed, set y velocity to nine, then we are going to wait until not mouse down or key space pressed. So now we can kind of click and jump, right? You know, click and jump. Oh, and make sure to set y velocity to zero at the start of the script. So great, we basically got our bird moving, but um, to add a little bit more of a touch to it, we're going to make it point in a point upwards, you know, when we're going upwards, and point downwards when we're going downwards. So we're going to do point in direction 90 plus y velocity. So now the bird kind of turns a bit, right? Uh, Let's set y velocity, oh, let's multiply y velocity by negative 5, let's say. And now, it should point in the correct direction, look at that. If we click, it goes up a bit, and um, it kind of falls down, and, you know, it falls, hits the ground head first, face first. So, um, that's just uh, an extra bit of um, code to make the bird look better. And maybe I should change that to 75, yeah. Yeah, that looks uh, better, yeah. Great. Now we're going to, you know, add make a new sprite called pipes, right? Which Fabi the bird here will have to dodge. So pipes. I'm convert to bitmap. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna go to my uh, sprite sheet here. I will select the pipe. Great. And I'm going to paste it here. You'll notice that it's pretty small. So I'm going to centralize it and move it down. By the way, the sprite is the sprite is really small, so let me just increase the size to 400. Yeah, that's uh, a good size. And now we're going to copy paste this same um, pipe. We're going to flip it, and we are going to move it upwards. So now we kind of have this, um, you know, space for our uh, Fabi to jump through. Great. Let me call this costume pipes. Oh, and let me switch that costume to a Fabi. Yeah, let's do switch costume to uh, the bird at the f top of the script. Um, next, we are going to code the pipes. So, we're going to do when clicked, hide, right? Because we need um, pi we need the pipes to be moving endlessly, so we'll have to use clones. We're going to say forever. Wait one second. And create a clone on myself. Then we're going to do when I start as a clone, we are going to go to X, 
um, let's see, let's say 500, okay? For good measures, we're just going to do 500. And Y, we can randomize it now, right? So we can say pick random from, let's say, negative uh, 100 to 100. So you can see it kind of, you know, has different heights, which is um, good. Uh, let me just put that in here. And we're going to show our pipes, right? Then we're going to say forever change our x by negative, let's say, uh, 4 for now. And we're also going to say when it gets, you know, here, right? So when our x position is less than, let's say, uh, negative 240. Wait, can it go more than that? Oh, let's just do negative 240. Then we are going to delete the clone. Delete this clone. Let me just put that there. So great. Uh, our pipes are now here. They um, should appear here and they kind of delete there. Uh, yeah, so we basically already got most of the game done, right? Now, Fabi just has to, you know, die when it's touching the spikes. And, uh, you know, yeah, so let me just temporarily make a death script. So we're going to do if we are touching the pipes, then we're going to stop all, all right? I think this is a um, great way to make sure everything runs correctly. So I'm jumping. Okay, I'm avoiding the pipes. Whoop. Oh, I'm, I'm going down. I'm going up. Okay, yay. Um, that's pretty good. Let me see if what happens if I die. Oh, yay. Um, our script stops. So it, mean, so it means that our detections are completely fine. Um, so I want to keep this tutorial short, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, in the coming tutorials, we're going to be talking about, you know, making player death animations, um, making our player animations, and, you know, adding these, you know, ground sprites and the background sprites, right? So uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for part two.